Oh, what is this? Are those teleporters? You want to challenge a dragon to Prince? Hello. Was that a statue dragon? I didn't even notice that dragon I statue. You got a good bite. Hypeheims, and welcome back to the Pokemon Light Platinum Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we were in the Distortion World, and we had to take on Giratina, and we also captured him, which was very fun. Now, I also want to mention, off camera, I did some grinding, and when I say I did some grinding, I did some grinding. As you can see, everyone's at level 65, and that just makes me really safe for at least going into this gym, because... If this is Drakeworth City, then I'm just predicting that dra they're going to have dragon types. And dragon types are really no easy feat. They are dragon types from one of the most powerful typings to this day. I mean, no joke, like if you thought of dragon types, what could I list? Like Dragonite, Solomons, Hydreigon, Haxorus, so many plebbing dragon types. I could do like Gudra, plebbing Komo'o, a Drankavolt, like so many plebbing... Dragon types that are mostly meant to be pseudo legendaries. But I think I rambled on long enough. Let's get on to a team recap. So, first off, we have Venus the Venusaur, level 68 grass poison type with the overgrow ability to up grass moves in a pinch with a lax nature, holding the amulet coin so we can get a bit more money in battles with the moves Razor Leaf, Growth, Leech Seed, and Sleep Powder. Up next, we have Ritz the Quagsire, level 65 water ground type with the damp ability to prevent self-destruction with the brave nature. Holding the quick claw because you may be slow, even though we got, we got you up to that 61 speed. We're close to... We're halfway there to 100 plus. Uh, but you can still be fast with Surf, Dive, Earthquake, and Strength. Next, we have Doge the Growlithe, our level 65 fire type with the intimidate ability to lower the foe's attack with the docile in nature, holding the leftovers just so it won't get hangry during battle with the moves Flame Thrower, Flame Wheel, Take Down, and Bite. Next up, we have Jazz the Mandibuzzer, level 65 dark flying type with the sturdy ability to negate one-hit KO attacks with the rash nature, holding the quick claws because look at those talons, they basically fit so well with Glide, Fly, Steel Wing, and Bone Rush. Next, we have Grunk with the Toxic Croaker, level 65 poison fighting type with the hypercutter ability, Hyperheim's hypercutter, to prevent attack reduction with the bold nature, holding the focus band just in case if we get goofed up by a psychic type move, then it'll be all fine, hopefully, with the moves Cross Chops, Rock Smash, Sludge Bomb, and Zord's Dance. And last but but definitely not least, we have NXT the Dragonite, a level 65 dragon flying type with the inner focus ability to prevent fliction, fliction, <laughs> to prevent flinching with the timid nature, holding the dragon fang so it can boost those powerful dragon type moves. More importantly, Outrage, along with its co move, its co moves, wing attack, thunderbolt, and ice beam. Now I think everyone is healed up, uh, and I can tech, I can check just by their PP being used up. Yep, everyone is fully healed. So the main focus of this episode is that we got to take on the gym leader, Wesley, who has Dragon-type Pokemon. So let's get it. Oh my god, there's already spikes here. I'm scared. Welcome to the Drake Breath Gym. The leader, Wesley, uses Dragon Pokemon. Hit, use Ice Pokemon to defeat him. Or, use Dragon Pokemon as well. But Dragon Pokemon is super effective against Dragon Pokemon. This is the hardest gym in Zeri. Are you prepared? I mean, I'll, I'm as prepared as I'll ever be. You got a Dragonair. I think I can easily win this battle because, like, I can just go to NXT. Uh, Outrage. Alright, Dragon Rage. Alright, instant win. Shell gone. Uh, Outrage again. <laughs> there we go. Our leader, Wesley, won't even give you a chance in combat. Nice. Oh, what is this? Are those teleporters? You want to challenge a dragon to Prince? Hello. Was that a statue dragon? I didn't even notice that dragon I statue. You got a good bite. How much does Razor Leaf do? Oh, I guess it one hit it. Venus is close to level 69, haha. Huh? The dragon type is the most powerful in the entire Pokemon world. You can't beat it. I just beat you. What does that mean? Do you want to hit the switch? I just flipped the switch. 
Choo. <laughs> clip, clip. Dragon paths changed. Man, you are shaking a lot. Yeah, that's definitely a Dragonite statue. So I opened paths, but there's many a paths. Huh. Interesting, interesting. This place is prohibited for those who haven't had contact with dragons. But there were two trainers just in front of me. I just did. I should be fine, you know. Okay. Oh, you missed the slam, though, so that's perfectly fine with me. Why is there a motorcycle? Oh, I almost just screamed outside my window. <laughs> I was like, could you rev any freaking faster? Uh, let's go, Jazz. Uh... Fly should be able to do good, right? Yeah. Literally slided it. Nice. Even the strongest grass, water, or fire Pokemon will never beat a dragon. Eh, that's just your opinion, let me tell you. You now understand the power of the dragon Pokemon in this gym. I mean, kinda. I mean, you have a fracture. I mean, at least you guys have variety. You got Dragonairs, you got Fractures, you got Shellgons. You got a bunch of dragon Pokemon. Like, you're, you're working up the works. Whoa, let's calm down there. Let me just get this XP. Let me get the level 69 real quick. Did the, did the XP even move? It's like, I, did I get any XP from that? It feels like I didn't. If you're experienced in battle, you can defeat any type of Pokemon. I guess that's facts. Let me run back down here real quick because, I'm going to be honest, I am slightly injured. But to be honest, I'd rather heal with a, uh, a hurt ankle than keep running with that hurt ankle until it gets broken and then it takes way longer to heal or it could potentially damage my whole life. That's my that's my output on the situation. Can I press it? Uh, well, that's strange. Press it three times and we'll just yeah. Damn, that's something up. Wait. Oh no, this this path over went over here. Wait. All right, hold on. I'm gonna fight them first. This gym is only for the princesses looking to master dragon Pokemon. I'm not an apprentice, let me tell you, lady. I'm not an apprentice. I'll have you know. Uh, there we go, level 69. Oh, they have Drank flying flag on. Yo, Drank the Awesome. No, no, you're not even Drank. You are Cramp the Awesome. I'm sorry, I got you mixed up with another OP team from shoutouts to the fire. Uh, no, 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 Pokemon Leaf Green Randomized. I was like, if you haven't seen that series, you should definitely do that. I'm sorry about this Cranth. But right now, it's another Dragon Types time. It's NXT's time. I'm gonna send you back all the way to the Leaf Green series where you'll be properly respected there. I love you, man. If you were on my team, I'd definitely use you. Sabrina. You better be prepared to face Wesley. His Dragonite is invincible. Now, that's just a blatant lie. You know, I should have kept track of levels. Because then I can probably compare it up to scale. And, uh... Oh, we are already here. Alright, uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna make sure I'm fully prepared for this fight. In fact, I'm not even just gonna prepare myself for the fight. I'm gonna, f f like, heal myself fully, and I'm gonna buy things for the shop. Why not? Alright, where's the shop? Okay, I guess it's up here. I forgot there was, it was a big mall. Uh, I just wanna check stuff. I wanna check healing stuff. Bag. Max potions. Hyper potions. I should definitely get some more hyper potions. I could buy 80. <laughs> I'm gonna buy 25 more. Actually, you guys got full wrist or like uh, full heals. Yes, you do. Wait, how many full heals do I have? Because that's something I definitely want. I have 92 full heals. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm just being a bit paranoid, but you know what? Five hyper potions and uh, yeah, I guess the really the hyper potions is really all I need. I'm gonna buy five Ultra Balls just because I can. And full heals, uh... I have 92 plus 7, that would be 99. Alright, fantastic. I think we should be good. If only you could buy a Firestone here. Eh, yeah, but what are you gonna do? Surf all the way over there. There we go. Alright. All I have to do is reactivate these switches, and then we should be having a good old time with the Dragon-type leader. We might be definitely overleveled, but I'm just trying to be super safe because, man, dragon types are strong. All right. Did I say it on here? Drake Breath City Pokemon Gym Leader Wesley. Type dragon. You got your Dragonite? I got my own Dragonite, too. Drag, 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 drag. All right. It's time. Welcome to the Drake Breath Gym. 
This is the last gym of the Zeri League, so it is the most renowned and difficult of all. Be sure to get ready, for I will defend this gym with all the power of my Pokemon possess. The final gym badge is coming up in our way. And he looks freaking swagger. He's got five Mons. He's a Kingdra. Oh my gosh, level 58? I know my, I know Venus is like really like higher level of that, but still. All right, I'm going to make you fall asleep. And then I'm going to send, wait, is Kingdra part? No, uh, because I think Kingdra loses their uh, wa primary water type, right? And they're just playing dragon. They wake up. Biggie, that's crazy. It's great. I don't remember asking. Wow. Wait, I got Thunder... Maybe they don't lose their water. Maybe Dragon becomes their primary typing. What am I thinking? It's not super effective either? Well, I mean, I got the crit, but still. Okay. Alright. Flygon. We already know how this is gonna go. You're level 60. It's a good thing I'm flipping leveled up. I definitely would have been way under-leveled for this. Uh, Ice Beam is definitely going to one-shot because that's super effective against both Ice... Nope. <laughs> both super effective against Dragon and Ground. It's pretty interesting how you're both a uh, ground type and a dragon type, but it's pretty cool. Haxorus. Alrighty. Haxorus. Level 63! Dear Lord, I mean, thank the Lord that, uh, wait, is, out is Outrage, hold on, let me check something. Is Outrage physical? I can't tell. I mean, thank the Lord that we have, a uh, Ice Beam. So hopefully that should do a lot. Yeah, because it's super effective. The problem is, it's not Stab, but it was able to one-hit. Is that the Cry of an Unknown? It feels like it is. Okay, Dragonite. You have your own Dragonite, ah. Now, I got you by the horns right now. Level 64! Is this last Pokemon going to be level 65? Am I actually on par with the Gym Leader? Okay, you're part Dragon and you're part Flying. Ice is super effective against both. It's quad effective. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, NXT, I'm so happy that you're here. Garchomp. No, 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 we're calm, we're calm. I think he's still ground... Dra okay, it's level 61 too. So the Dragonite was his ace at level 64. My Dragonite compared, he was only one level ahead of him. Imagine if he had Ice Beam. Okay. Let's, let's not think about the bad. Let's just think. I'm pretty sure Garchomp is a ground dragon, so an Ice Beam should be able to knock him out. Please. Thank you. And I even got the crit to boot. That must have been all his Pokemon. Kingdra, Hexorus, Dragonite, Garchomp, and something else, something else, something else. <laughs> what was this at the Pokemon? Oh, Flygon. Yeah, that was five as a Pokemon, so we won. All right. I'm gonna tell you something. It seemed like that. Okay. It's, it really did seem like that battle was easy. But I'm telling you, that was too intimidating. Like, with his high level dragons, I. It's like I gotta grind up more again. I see a bright future ahead of you. You can surpass anyone. Actually, I have all eight gym badges, and if I wanted to, I could grind up to level 100 if I wanted to. Oh, just imagine. Oh, just imagine. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Imagine the next episode I'm at level 100 on all mons. I might. I might. If I have the time, I might. Well, now that you defeat me, you can go on to the challenge of the Zeri Elite 4. Also, you won the Claw Badge. Nice. With the Claw Badge, you can use HMO7 Waterfall outside of battle and climb waterfalls to get to the Elite 4. There's another gift. And I got TM02. That TM complains Dragon Claw. Dragon attack that will serve you well in any battle. Congratulations, you've earned all the badges in Zeri. Now you can go challenge the Elite Four to try and become the champion. I done did it. I done did it. I done did it. Meow. Oh, okay, that was just a normal guy. Well, I'm gonna go heal up, and I think that's going to end this for the episode. I think the next thing I have to do is, uh, I have to go to the, uh, location wherever the Plumbing Elite 4 is. But I think I have to find, like, a move deleter to get, a uh, waterfall off, of, or at least dive off of, uh, 
My good old buddy Ritz. Because I don't think... What's TM7? Oh, I guess it's just because I don't have Waterfall. Frick. Uh... Yeesh. Well, uh, I guess I'll end the uh, video here. So if you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Light Platinum, please be sure to leave a like on the video and also share it, with your, uh, share it with your friend for more Pokemon content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And if you haven't yet or you're looking forward to, please be sure to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all of my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video. Hail the Hype Beast!